rule driving this out? I think so, as long as I don't run into the garage. Yeah, dude, it's not even that deep. There's the earth. Bro, I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. It ain't even that deep, it's just that all this is ice. Like, look at that. Mmm, muddy, icy, muddy, yuck. No grip. <laughs> the ice really got this thing out of place, boys. Check this out. You're not even on the windshield, bro. What is going on with you? All right, well, that is much, much better. Today is the day that young teenage Robbie would be so proud of me for getting to and doing. I don't know if the camera will see it, but it's like this side is just like It spent like 30 years in a barn. I drove around for a couple years and then it spent the last four years just in my parents' driveway, like off on the grass. So not in their driveway. The suspension is just wrecked. And I guess for anybody that doesn't know what this truck is or doesn't know the story behind it, we never actually like bought this truck in a video. I've owned this thing. Forever a lot of people always like when we had the old one. They're like yo Why do you like this thing, but I love these I don't know why I think they're awesome the backstory on this I'll link a video in the description I don't think you can put little pop-up things anymore I think they took that away so ever since the day I got this truck I have wanted to slam it you guys know four-wheel drive trucks go up and two-wheel drive trucks Go down and that's something that I have been wanting to do forever and I remember like young ass Teenage me calling around trying to get my hands on this Bell Tech lowering kit. I never got around to doing it I never had the the money and now I have this kit that I have been wanting in the back of my mind forever So I'm pumped. I'm expecting this to take uh, a long time because I'm assuming that 90% of the bolts on here are not gonna want to come off. So let's stop wasting time talking and let's, let's dig into it Dude, this is gonna be so nice. You got spindles for the front, which is like the best way of doing it. Just simple and effective. Lowering blocks for the back. This, I believe, is the spring set for the front. Oh, damn, that's a thick boy. Bro, you gotta love these old trucks. Look at that. Oh my God, this thing is a behemoth. So if you guys have been following me for a while, uh, you would know that I put a four inch Belltech lift kit on my truck. Did I say how much this is? This is a four to five inch lowering kit. I put the four inch Belltech lift kit on my truck and it has been the most solid thing ever. I see you guys ask me on Instagram, on YouTube all the time, um, like how it is, how I'm liking it. I forget that I lifted that truck. Like it drives so smooth. From my experience, Belltech is killing. Anyways, blocks for the rear, spindles, springs. We got shocks for the front, shocks for the back. And of course, we got some new leafs. These are probably extremely necessary because I can only imagine how much mine have been through in their life. Any kind of lift kit or lowering kit or anything that you guys are looking for, check them out in the description below. Let's start taking this thing apart and see what we're, see what we're getting ourselves into. All right, so first of all, this truck is disgustingly dirty. Second of all, the frame is solid. I know a lot of people are gonna see this and a lot of people are gonna say something about it. The frame is mint. It's all surface rust, like it's like solid metal. It's not like this thing. We're not gonna have to rebuild any of it. This was bad. This can all be cleaned up actually just as easy as we did on the old S10 that I had at West. However, right now is not what I, that's not what I wanna do. I'm not taking on two of those projects at the same time. So my goal right now is actually to, and I know this may sound counterproductive, I'm gonna fully build this truck and then one day when I have time, we'll take it all apart and then do all the, uh, the cleaning up of it and everything. It'll be kind of sleepery for now, which will actually be kind of fire. That's old high school Robbie getting some HPs, baby. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days, boys. Thank you. I'm on look. I'm on my 
really caught. Vroom vroom. Yo, this thing's actually nice. Like, I could have a sleepover on this, dude. This is qual- like, look how thick it is. Taking that right here. This? The sound of a fresh rebuilt kit on my ratchet. Guess what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna use it as a breaker bar. Oh, I have shoes. Everything here's rusty, but like nothing's hard to get out. Other than that bolt, everything's been like, like it's rusty, but it's not rusted, you know? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yuck. Old spring, old shock. Does this thing even work? But like, it's never been drove. Yeah, but it's just old. And the weight of the truck's been on it. No shock. There's nothing left. So we were just riding springs. New spring. You guys can see it's a little bit, a little bit shorter, a little bit stiffer. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Absolute beast. This is how you know your shocks work. See how it comes back up? That's what that's what it's supposed to do. This is the new spindle. Is this takes where your wheel is and moves it up. So the spring's a bit shorter, the shock is to compensate for the shorter. And then the way this works is it moves the actual hub like up higher on the knuckle. So you can see this one's like pretty close to center, this one's at the bottom. So that itself lowers the truck and actually like keeps the geometry of the suspension. We're slowly gonna make all this look like this. It's gonna be fire. I wonder if this one works. Show the people at GM made a quality product. Come on. Nope, this sucks. <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh boy, we are missing the shoot so bad. Oh my God, how did we manage that? You know what might be useful? Can you put the camera down and just step on this for me? Okay, there we go. I'm having no luck over here. Oh, I might have just seated it right there, keep going. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just awkward. Look at, there's a hole there, and then the other hole's underneath this one. But you can see that this piece is like way too wide. It's too wide to even fit where that other thing is. Can you read me the part number that's on that box? 1987 Chevy S10 base 2.8 liter V6 rear wheel drive standard cab pickup truck. Yep. Turns out it's, uh, it's just my fault. I ordered this as like a generic part, but there's also a bushing that you can get specifically to the vehicle. So I could have bought like the 1987 bushing right here, push this one out, put the new one in, and then it fits nicely. I ordered up the right part. If I'm getting the correct one anyways, I have no need for this. We may as well hack it up until the new one shows up. And we're back in business, boys. This side, I got everything done too, and I threw the wheel on just to look at it. Like, dude, look at. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it. What the heck? Look at this. Look at the difference. It's hard to say until it's actually on the ground, but it's gonna be good. So now for the rear, we have lowering blocks, which you guys should be familiar with. Same idea as what I did on my truck, except I used the ones on my truck to put the axle lower, whereas this time we're using it to put the axle higher. And we got drop shocks. These are actually thick boys. And boom, we got the leaps. Mmm, yummy. Look at that, look at that open diff life. Why did I just figure out sitting on this is nice? Why have I been crouching, blowing my young knees out all day when I could just sit? What happened? I hit my brake line. Oh! <gasps> Why is everything on this truck gotta be so much work? Now, at least it's a short guy. I can build this thing in 10 minutes. I just need the line. You can see where I nicked this, and I was like, oh, I'll just cut right here, and then cut right there on the other side. And the first spark that happened was the freaking brake line, dude. You know what they say, though? On the plus side, I don't have to watch out for that brake line anymore. <laughs>
this point, this is just a mandatory test to see what we were working with. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Four for four, baby. Anyway, so this is the Custy old rear boy. This is the fat new one, dude. I love the girthiness of these new ones. Look like it's gonna need to get cut. We may as well give it a little size test anyway. It's just, just to be sure. Oh yeah, this actually has tons of room. Okay, the best part about the rear is we got the new. Let's see what's going on inside here. Oh my God, dude, these are extremely wrapped up. So that's what we're looking at for the new leaves. It's actually still got the three separate leaves, which is good. It means it'll actually still work nicely because once you start deleting leaves, you start to get a squishier kind of ride. Let's look at that. Oh my God, this one weighs a million pounds. Compared to this one. So this is the clamp that holds all these three leaves together. Probably broke when it came off, but that's not good at all, dude. That could have been bad, bad. <laughs> yeah, you check that out. Damn. So that's, I'm assuming how we're gonna get a lot of our drop. Just less curve, it'll push the, it won't push the wheel down so much. Plus instead of the axle sitting right on there, we'll have our axle, how does this guy go? We'll have our axle sit even that much higher. So, dude, that is super clean and easy setup. The rear's a lot more straightforward than the front was. It's all just like super simple. Right now I have this axle just floating and it's making me super nervous. You can see like the weight is all right there on the drive shaft. There's a couple more pieces we have to reuse than I wish there was. Like we gotta reuse these guys. Like I keep telling you guys, I could tell you a million more times. I'm gonna take this all back apart and like blast it all and paint it all and replace a lot of the bushings and stuff soon. I just really don't wanna have two dead projects right now. So I feel like I can't say that enough. Everything is bolted together. I got all the wheels on. I'm excited to see this thing on the ground, to be honest, because like, oh, I did take a before for this one. Just so you guys can see like the before and after in the air. It's significantly lower for sure. And then what I ended up doing for this side, because right now everything is curbside pickup. So if we order something, it's gonna take us forever to actually get it, because they don't just bring it out to you same day. I robbed a brake line off the Civic. I cut it when we were taking out the engine because I was like, I'm gonna remake these anyways, I don't need this. So I took a line, I kind of like cut it into a shape that I thought would sort of fit, and then I flared it as well as I could. And then we shoved it in down there, tightened it all up, and bled the brakes. So everything's good to go. It's like as far as, I think, as far as assembly, like we're all good. It's definitely kind of ugly, the brake line, but like it's gonna work for now. I wanna do disc swap anyways on here, so eventually we're gonna redo all this and put all new lines anyways, so it's just a temporary thing. The only issue I could see us having is with the bump stop. It's really close right now. Once we get on the ground, it might not take a lot of travel, like once you add the weight onto there. Might not take a lot of travel to get it to bottom out, so we'll probably have to cut that out. I honestly have no insight on this. I haven't done any research or anything. We might have to notch the frame. We might just have to completely cut out that bump stop. I don't know. I am excited. So let's get you spun around. Ready? Mm-hmm. Nice. Are you ready? I don't know. Dude, this is fire. I'm not even having to sit up yet and I can tell you this is fire. Oh my god. This is all I've ever wanted from this thing. Dude, look at it. Definitely stiffer. Remember before it was like a juice box? Wow, dude, this thing is meaty. Dude, this truck has always been like low, but now it actually feels like dumped when you get into it. Yo, I can't wait till that's like a big beefy startup. This truck just needs to have an aggressive ass startup. Get in, we're going for a ride. He's low. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Something I noticed right away was that we bled that rear brake, but we should have probably bled all the brakes because like it's a squishy pedal. I haven't plowed this in like a week, so I really hope I get over this freaking hump with a brake and stuff. Come on, go. Nice. Yeah, like when you hit the brakes. Oh, there's no ABS, I forgot. It just locks up in the winter. Dude, it's nice. It is nice. It feels nice, and I can tell you right away because look at the roads. They're, they're all disgusting and bumpy. Like this, you would know right away if this was too stiff. It feels like normal. Right? And we haven't bottomed out that rear yet. So it's not easy to do. I'm sure it'll happen, but it's not like an easy... Actually, this road's not bad. Oh no, this is good. Ooh, that's nice. The tires roll a lot. You can feel the tires yeah. just like... 
being sucked. Dude, that's nice. Look, bump here. A normal bump. They didn't even know. They didn't even, you hit a bump? Who hit a bump? We hit a bump? I don't think we hit a bump. Dude, my brake pedal's like this deep right now. It is sketch.com. So like it drives, it drives as good as I want it to. I really need to see this thing from outside. We're sliding. Do you see that? Oh my God, that is so sketch. We were just like ah, hovering. Now I'm not even on the angle I was looking for. Bro, I'm just sliding. This is the worst. All right, we need to look at it because that's the best part. Dude, we picked the best road to do this on. This looks so good, I, I'm so pumped. There's this angle, I can't capture it on camera, I've tried every angle. I can't seem to find it where like, when you look at this thing, it just looks like it should be like a beefy truck, like it should have a V8 in it. When it's inside the garage, something about it being lower with like the, maybe it's the thick tires, I don't know. But when I look at it, I'm just like, this thing looks like it should be hella fun. Like dude, look how good this looks. What are your thoughts? I like it. I think like this is like what it's always supposed to have been. Oh yeah, big like, facts, since day one. Because of this bumper being pushed up, it still looks like it's sagging a little bit, but it's not, it's in so pretty. And you can see the rear sits a little bit higher, which is good. It means I could still put stuff in the box without absolutely like slamming it. We never hit the bump stop on the way over, but we also didn't take like extremely rough roads, we just took like regularly rough roads. This is the reason the other S10 didn't work. Yep. Because you had this and this has always been like, the S10. Well, I've told them too, like as soon as we decided we were probably gonna move home, and I knew I had this one, and I was absolutely in love with this one, I don't want two. They're not like, I know I don't love S10s, I just really like this one. But it's like pretty low. Like there's only like three, three and a half inches of clearance left between the frame and the ground. Like it's really not, <laughs> it's not that high. I think this is a key moment for this truck, you know? I think we should all just enjoy it right now and look at it, cause, cause it's going down. Anyways, I think that's all I got for you guys for today's video. I almost died again, <laughs> dude, this road so bad. That's all I got for you guys, I'm pumped. I hope you guys are stoked on this. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay committed. Love this. <laughs> he will love this. There you go, buddy. That's what this hammer was for the whole time.